14-year-old Alex is a regular at Muir House Youth Development Group. Its sessions fit into her school timetable, offering her a wide range of opportunities and activities. It just takes all the stress away. It is fun to come here with friends and family. Just a nice, chillax place to have fun. Since the group took over this venue on the outskirts of Edinburgh, young people have been making it their own. They need skills, like we're painting a shed right now. Like, so, like one of the girls might go, like, oh, I want to be a painter and decorator now. Like, it's like you need to give help to young people. They lead, they lead on what they want to see in part of the youth work programme. So it's really important that it's very much bottom up. You know, whatever they want to do, we'll try and implement for them. The benefits of youth work have long been championed, but a new survey out today highlights the ongoing impact the pandemic is having on these services. It found that only around half of organisations currently have access to the facilities they need. <laughs> YouthLink survey heard from more than 300 youth groups across every council area in Scotland. It found that those without their own premises were struggling the most. Whether it be schools or leisure centres, you know, so nearly half not be able to access there. When people um, have more control or management of their own facility, there's much higher use of those facilities, nearly 78%. So some of the issues that have been identified have been around, we don't have enough money for cleaners in the evening, that's what some of the local authorities are saying, and different interpretations around what you can and can't do. Youth work's an essential service and we need to fund it properly, we need to make sure the resourcing and support's there, but also the places and the spaces that children and young people can, can feel they've got some sense of ownership and that they can engage with, because it's those trusted relationships in spaces where children feel safe and comfortable, that's where the real magic happens in terms of ensuring that, that they get what they need. The Scottish Government says it's liaising with the youth work sector about access to facilities and it'll continue that work to ensure vulnerable young people receive the support they need. But campaigners say action is needed now to help young Scots thrive. Kay Nicholson, STV News, Edinburgh.